Welcome in, my beautiful Aries. This is going to be an end of July um, 2020 general reading for you guys. And this could resonate if you have Aries as your sun or rising or Venus placement. Do take only what resonates with your situation. Anything that is not for you, please leave it here, okay? Do um, like, share, comment, subscribe. And to all of my returning subscribers, new subscribers, I want to send you guys all love and light. All right, so let's see, Aries, what's going to be um, coming in for you guys for the last few days of July, end of July. Ooh, okay, so step out of your comfort zone um, popped up or popped out for you guys, okay? And then bottom of the deck, we have adjustments are required. Okay, so going into August, um, wrapping up July, Aries, you guys are needing to step out of your comfort zone, okay? Um, with this adjustment are required third quarter moon. I feel like it's something that you guys have been working on. And it's like you're in the third quarter, so you're right at the end. However, there are some adjustments that's going to need to be... Um, some adjustments are required in the situation. So this could be adjustment um, physically, emotionally, mentally. You're going to know what that is. So whatever it is, with this step out of your comfort zone... You guys are definitely being called to kind of do something that is not necessarily going to be the most comfortable for you, okay? All right, so let's see. You guys have coming in, Spirit. Give me messages for my Aries. Some rising Venus. All right, so let's see. Wow, okay. So we have Seven of Cups here showing up in your past energy. Temperance here. Current energy. Ooh, Five of Wands, and then the Page of Wands. Okay. All right, and then bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, so y'all got a lot of Wands energy here, which is good. That's your energy. Um, what this is telling me, with this Seven of Wands on the um, back of the deck, let's talk about this first. This can indicate um, you guys, you know, reaching a point on the, or a level of success and victory in your lives, okay? And now that you've reached that level with this Seven of Wands energy, it's like you have to really protect yourself, okay? Protect your energy, protect your peace, protect everything that you guys have worked so hard to build. All right, with this um, Knight of Pentacles here, I feel like you guys are definitely in a space or an energy where you're working towards something okay it's something that you guys have been doing like i said you're in that third quarter so you're in the last phase of it and i feel like right now you guys could be met with some challenges or maybe you just have a lot of things going on and it's going to require you guys to kind of step out of your normal energy and do something new temperance is here some of you guys may have um sagittarius in your chart or you may be dealing with the sagittarius but i feel like you guys are definitely going to need to kind of maintain um balance and moderation all right, um, with this Seven of Cups, you guys do have some options. You guys have a decision or a choice to make where I feel like maybe that's um, that's more of like your past energy. So I feel in the past, you guys made a choice or a decision about something. All right, and I feel like with this temperance here, you're just kind of waiting, waiting for everything to kind of play out. All right, so let's see. Let's clarify why is the Seven of Cups here. Wow, that came out fast. <laughs> So we have the Queen of Swords here in strength on the bottom of the deck. Ooh. All right. So some of you guys may be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Maybe a person has that in the, their chart. But what this Queen of Swords is telling me is that I feel you guys have just recently come out of a space or you're currently in a space now where you have a lot of options or you just have a lot of decisions you can have a lot of things going on there could be some confusion in regards to like exactly what choice or what decision is going to be the right decision to make okay with this queen of swords this is telling me that some of you guys are cutting out some of your options like you could feel like you just have too much going on and you could be cutting out some people cutting out some things um cutting out some emotions or this could also tell me that you guys are really really like focusing on like the options that you have in front of you right now. Like you guys are um, really, really needed to step into a space where you're using your mind, you're using um, your intellect, your wisdom to make a discerning decision about something. 
Okay, um, this Queen of Swords can also tell me that some of you guys may have, you know, like I said, some options that you cut off and maybe someone wants, you know, some truth or some clarity in regards to why that happened. Let's see, why is the Queen of Swords here? Yeah, we have death here, Scorpio energy, and then the Four of Wands. So some of you guys may be dealing with the Scorpio. You can have that in your chart. But this is telling me that some of you guys definitely cut off a situation or you just like really, really ended something. All right, with this death here, this is also a transformative energy. So I feel like you guys have been going through a very slow transformation. And like I said, you guys cut off some people. Y'all cut off some options. You cut off some, some something. Something definitely... Um, ended or changed in your life tremendously and with this temperance here i feel like you guys are really trying to stay balanced why is temperance here ace of cups wow and then the knight of cups okay so some of you guys can have like a relationship or um some sort of new start in your lives with this ace of cups knight of cups that's really really taking off that's really really allowing your heart to like overfill with joy happiness okay for some of you guys you can have an offer coming in maybe someone wants to make an offer to you um i feel like someone wants to express their emotions and for some of you guys this could be like say if you had a lot of options and you just cut off one you know you, you cut out a lot of people and then there's just one person with this ace of cups knight of cups it's a lot of love it's a lot of um emotions it's a lot of feelings like there is a A true joy here queen of cups some of you guys may be dealing with the scorpio um cancer pisces or just someone who has like a real depth of emotions and i feel like you guys or this person someone is going to be offering their feelings to you queen of rods y'all got a lot of queens that's popping up but this is telling me that someone is stepping into their their um their power Okay, someone is definitely stepping into their power. Someone is being more assertive. And with this Ace of Pentacles, I feel like you guys could have um, a feminine energy around you. Someone that's very, very, very fiery, passionate. Someone that's um, very, very confident. Someone that's actually going after what they want in life right now, okay? Whoever this person is, they could love sunflowers or they really love the color yellow. I'm getting like a lot of Aries energy. So some of you guys may be dealing with another Aries or you're just dealing with another fire sign. But um, what this is telling me, someone is definitely like stepping up. Someone is balancing their emotions and their passion for you. And I feel like they want to communicate. But with this five of wands here, it's some conflict. This is conflict, confusion. Mm. And then the five of pentacles with the hair fine Taurus energy. So for some of you guys, there was a... Um, there's been a separation or someone is like wanting to come towards you but with this five of wands energy it's like they feel kind of held back right now because they don't feel like they're in a good space with this hair fine energy this could always um this could also be telling me that some of you guys like i said this is someone that maybe you cut off and they're coming back in and it's like with this five of um pentacles five of wands whew you got a lot of fives. This is a lot of change. Someone feels hurt. Someone feels wounded. Someone feels like... Like you kind of stepped on their toes in some way. Or like they have a lot of passion for you, but they could feel like, you know, it's a lot of competition when it comes to, to being with you or having your attention. Why is the um, five of pentacles here? Now, for some of you guys, this could be a separation. Like, maybe you ended a job. You could have had a lot of job offers if this is in terms of career, which I think this is more relationship than anything. And if not, then I just feel like it's a big cycle that you guys are coming out of. And you're being divinely guided. But there's, like, an offer that's coming into you. Someone is going to step up. Yeah, six of, pits, um, six of cups. I'm sorry. This is past energy, soulmate energy. So this could definitely be someone from your past or someone that you've already been dealing with. And look, King of Rods on the bottom of the deck, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. So this person is coming back and they're coming back in your energy. And I feel like for some of you guys, this is going to be different. And that's why this adjustments are required here because you're not used to that. Yeah, Four of Cups. And um, for some of you guys, with this Page of Wands, 
in this four of cups i feel like some of you guys are going to need to really open yourselves up to whatever opportunity that this is with this page of wands okay i feel like some of you guys are a little closed off to it or you're just not really you know like mm, you don't really know if this is going to be viable Nine of Swords and then the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so whoever this person is, when they come in and express themselves to you, I feel like you guys are going to be holding back a little bit. Like, you're going to be excited to hear from them or to speak with them, but at the same time, it's like you're not going to be too thrilled to really take that offer or to accept whatever's being provided to you because with this Nine of Pentacles, some of you guys are just like um, wanting to do something yourself or you're wanting to focus on yourself, your independence, or just being by yourself look two of cups and then the eight of pentacles but someone wants you to like dedicate yourselves to them or they really want you to open up to the connection to the relationship all right eight of pentacles here yeah why is the six of cups queen of pentacles yeah someone definitely wants you guys to like commit to them being a serious committed relationship with the page of cups and they're going to open up and they're going to express this to you All right, why is the Two of Cups here? Yeah, the Four of Swords, whoever this person is, you guys haven't been speaking. But look, Ace of Swords behind that, you guys are going to get some truth, some clarity. And I definitely feel like you guys are going to be like a little bit closed off to this. Okay, and with this Knight of Pentacles, I feel like somebody has been really trying for a long time to like get you to commit to them or to get you to like look at them in a certain light. Let's see maybe that's why that step out of your comfort zone is here because i feel like someone is stepping out of their comfort zone like someone just want to try to match your match your level yeah look at this <laughs> when i said that what flipped over synchronicity okay i feel like whoever this person is it's like they want to come and you know in sync with you and like they're really going to try to match you on every level and then we have abundance here for some of you guys, this is also saying pay attention to the synchronicities. Maybe it's an opportunity that's coming in that you guys are closed off to. Okay, and it's like you need to step out of your comfort zone because look, abundance is here. And look what's behind that, surrender. Okay, so it's something that's coming in and it's like, you know, for some of you guys, maybe it is an adjustment. Maybe you do prefer your solitude. Maybe you do want to do something all on your own. But this is telling you to open yourself up to um, this opportunity. Even if this is not in love, whatever this is, I feel like it's going to be something that matches you. Okay, why is stuff out of your comfort zone here? Honesty. Okay, and this says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So with some of you guys, I feel like with this honesty here, this is more so going to be in regards to like someone expressing their emotions or their true feelings. And I feel like this is something that's not normally um comfortable for you like look at this humor on the bottom of the deck a lot of you guys more so you like to be in a lighthearted energy with this humor here. you like to be more like you know just focusing on the lighter things but like someone you know they they want to know how you feel or they want to tell you how they feel all right so let's see what's your spirit message for my aries seven rising venus Wow, I got two that fell out. Okay, so we have savings and bountiful, na bountiful nature. Mm. Yeah, someone is definitely trying to either like save the relationship or save like a connection or save some sort of um, opportunity. This is also telling you guys, this says as you consistently save for your future, your future self is saved. Do yourself a favor as you consistently set aside present funds. This is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. Okay, so some of you guys are kind of like holding back. Um, and this is also telling you to kind of save, you know, do focus on yourselves. Do um, ensure that you have stability for your future. But this is also saying with this savings and how it's speaking to me. It's like you guys are kind of like saving your feelings or saving your emotions or holding back. And it's like you, someone has to step out of their comfort zone and, you know, just keep it up. Keep it band, okay? Keep it 100. Someone needs to express their feelings. Um, Aries, you guys can also benefit by going out and being out in nature, okay? This says spending time in nature helps shift you to a higher vibration and reminds you of God's infinite abundance. 
Go outside and enjoy a walk or hike with your pet. Meditate beneath a tree, garden, or sit under the stars. Or do some other activity to connect with the limitless vastness. Yeah, so some of you guys have been really closed off. And this um, is telling you to go outside, but also kind of connect. Okay, so this is what I have, uh, my beautiful Aries. If you guys did enjoy your message, do like, share, comment, subscribe. Bye, guys.